Well, it's been a couple of years since I talked to our next guest. It's uh, Liam Doyle joining us uh, from America. And uh, Liam, congratulations. The, the football, oh, well, let's call it soccer, won't we? Now in America still. Um, I think last time we talked to you in 16, you were with Washington, at Washington, D.C., but you've moved on a bit and your career is going well, I hear. You moved on. Tell us about it. Yeah, since D.C., I was there only for a short period. I went to Harrisburg in 2016. Then I went on to Kansas City last year, and now I've been at Nashville since January this year. How does this all work? Do you get you get picked all the time, have you, or do you go looking for the, the positions? How, you know, do the scouts come out and see you. Well, when I went from Harrisburg to Kansas City, um, the technical director, who's my technical director now at Nashville, he um, signed me to Kansas. He come and uh, acquired me, transferred me, however you want to call it. And then when he left mid-season last year. And then my contract was up at the end of the year again, and um, he just spoke to me about the opportunity of Nashville. So I guess if you meet people in the game along the way, you kind of stick with them. I think you see it around the world. You see it in England, like the same managers have similar players at different clubs, you know. So, so he likes soccer, you and like you it. like him. Yeah. yeah, it seems that way. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Nashville, a uh, fairly new team, isn't it? Brand new, yeah, USL, um, which is a second league, um, 2018 and 2019, then MLS 2020. So there's a, it's a club that's already secured an MLS place that's just playing in the league below for two years first. Now, yeah, explain this because it's interesting. P people buy franchises and they will go into the top tier, but they start at the lower tier first, is it? Is that right? Yeah, well, Nashville did that, I think, to build the fan base, build like the community around what's going to go to MLS. And there's no promotion relegation. So, as you said, you secure a franchise by city, fan base, and you got to have your own stadium training ground. So there's, um, there's rules and regulations, and Nashville submitted their plan, and uh, they won a bid for 2020. How is soccer faring in general? I mean, it's, it's a minority sport to a lot of Americans still, isn't it? It is, yeah. It's, it's grown so much even since I've been here, since 2012 now, playing like college football. Um, I think now it's, it's on par with ice hockey. It's getting close to baseball in the ratings. It it's really is booming, to be honest, and well, especially at youth level as well because there's a lot of concussion issues with American football, so a lot of kids are playing soccer. Can people see you actually online or do you have to subscribe to a special station the, over here to get it? Yeah, every game's live on YouTube actually, oh. every week, so yeah. I uh, think uh, the, the times are a bit um, iffy sometimes, are late, but today we actually, tonight we play at 10 p.m. UK time. And how, how are you doing? I mean, are you, are you settling in well there? You like it? Yeah, I mean, we, we had a good run in the Open Cup. We beat Colorado of the MLS. In the league, we've been up and down a bit. We're, we should make playoffs. We're in a good spot to make playoffs now with eight games left. But just we need to finish strong. It's kind of we're on, you know, we're on the balance and line and we need to finish well to make the playoffs. Do you get much chance to come back here and see how all your old teammates are doing? I only can come back at Christmas, so I will be back at Christmas again for three or four weeks. It's the only time I can come. So, Have you been keeping your eye across the, the football over here? There's been quite a, a few changes, hasn't there? Yeah, I have. Like my, I'm like best friends of Alex, Harrison and Frank, and Alex is a manager at St. Mary, so we'll speak now and again and be like, you know, have you got any ideas for training or about this? Because obviously... We always talk about football, so you know we're always sharing ideas. And he's took on the reins of being a manager, so we'll see how stressful that gets him. And, and for you, where's where's the future? I mean, obviously you'll be when you get up into the top league, and you know you'll have Mr. Beckham's team to play and that sort of thing. Is that exciting and and challenging? Yeah. Well, hopefully I can have a chance to go over the club to MLS. That's unclear, obviously, at the moment. Um, but I do want to coach or stay in football in the future in some capacity in America, just the way the game's going, there's a lot of opportunity here. Do they understand what you're saying? <laughs> yeah, I think they do now. At <laughs> first, it was uh, maybe a bit of a challenge, but our accent's easy compared to like the Scottish or Irish accent. Well, congratulations. You're flying the Manx flag, I hear, as much as you can as well. Yeah, well, I, we're trying. I mean, the, the attendance has been great in Nashville. We've a few people have been by from the Isle of Man, like Steve Burns, who coached me for years in the development centre. He was on holiday in Atlanta. He came up for a game. So it was, you know, it's 
it's a holiday destination as well. So hopefully I'll see a few Manxies out here along the way. Well, congratulations. And we won't leave it so long to talk to you again. And uh, feel free anytime, you know, when you're lifting one of those cups to have a chat with us again. Yeah, for sure. Thanks, Paul.